In my last video, where we learned about expandable graphite, there's one fire-resistant product I did not test. This is an intumescent pipe collar, and these black strips inside are compressed expandable graphite flake, held together with a binder. Just a small shaving of this material expands enormously when exposed to heat. This pipe collar is meant to go around a pipe where it extends through a wall, with the intention of crushing the pipe closed if there's a fire. This prevents the fire from using the pipe to travel from one room to another. To test this collar, we'll light a fire in my sheet metal contraption and observe the result. In this test, I am using high-density polyethylene pipe, which is a non-chlorinated plastic. I picked this plastic intentionally because the byproducts when it burns are comparatively less harmful than more common plastic pipe like PVC. As this fire gets going, the first thing I notice is that the collar is not expanding as quickly as I would hope. Some of the carbon is starting to sneak out through the gaps in the collar, but at this rate the pipe itself might catch fire before the collar can seal it off. I realize now that I made a mistake by using such a short length of pipe in this test because flame can reach far enough to enter the open end, which is going to cause the flame to pass through the center faster than it otherwise would. On the bright side, the collar is starting to crush the pipe inward. That's pretty cool to see. The fire warming the plastic to allow this sort of deformation is probably necessary for this effect. On the front side, a lot of the expanding graphite has blown out the side of the collar, probably because the sheet metal I used to mount this to is fairly thin and was easily distorted by the pressure. Those of you who asked in my last video if expanding graphite does exert pressure, here's your answer. Most of the closing off effect is focused on the bottom of the pipe, unsurprisingly, because that's where the heat is mostly coming from. There is a lot of flame coming through, but again, that's my fault for using the short pipe. In real world use, a pipe like this would be filled with cables and wires, and already the amount of expansion would probably be enough to seal around them. In addition, by using the polyethylene pipe instead of common PVC, the pipe itself is less fire resistant. I got permission from Structure Tech Home Inspections, another channel here on YouTube, to show you this clip where they test a smaller pipe collar on a piece of normal PVC pipe. As you can see, it really closes the pipe down, although the test is a bit unrealistic as they were able to torch it evenly from all sides. It's a very impressive demonstration all the same. Check out Structure Tech Home Inspections and I'll put a link to their channel in the video description below. My test of this 4-inch collar has not ended up quite as successful. I think between the larger size, the more flammable and short length of pipe, and the unidirectional application of heat, the result has not gone to plan. We did end up with about a 50% restriction of the pipe, even under these bad circumstances before the whole thing caught fire, which is pretty good. I would definitely trust this collar if it were mounted to a sturdier wall although it would probably benefit from more than three screws holding it on. Four or five would have greatly reduced how large of a gap was able to open, which allowed the expanding graphite to escape. So that's it for this video, just a quick test of another expandable graphite product. If you missed my last video about how to make expandable graphite, you can click it on screen now. Otherwise, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.